Katie, and here is your Galco TV Tech Tip. Circuit breakers are safety devices that are responsible for cutting power in an application if excessive current flows through it in order to protect the circuit from overheating. In many cases, short, overload, or open is more likely than a bad circuit breaker. But it is important to know how to check the circuit breaker to determine if it is the part at fault. Before anything else, always make sure to turn each breaker off before removing it from the panel. Then you should check to see if the breaker has been tripped. If any of the switches are in the trip position, simply return them to the off position and then to the on position and try again. If the breaker does not remain on or emits a humming sound, proceed to pull the wire out of the circuit breaker and test again. If this is the case, you may have an issue with the wiring rather than the breaker. If that does not solve your problem, you should then test the panel. First, remove the wire from the breaker and test the active breaker with a voltmeter. If there is voltage, the breaker is working fine and your problem is most likely in the breaker panel, which may require a replacement. Another way to check for a bad breaker is to move its wire to a different breaker and see if the new breaker works. This is generally the simplest and most effective way to test a breaker. Ensure that both breakers are off before moving the wire and then turn the new breaker on. If the new breaker continues to show a problem, then you most likely have faulty wiring. If the new breaker works fine, then the original breaker has an issue. One final test you can perform is with an ohm meter. To do this, you will want to turn the breaker off, remove it from the installation, turn it back on, and then use the ohm meter to check between its screw and bus clip. A reading of any resistance indicates that the breaker is faulty and needs to be replaced. You can view our full selection of circuit breakers at galco.com.